Otto Anderson, a widower, 63 year old, resides in a row house in a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania suburb. He always has a clean, tidy and perfectly disciplined lifestyle following all the rules in and out of his home. Otto lost his wife, Sonia, a teacher, six months ago. Now Otto has turned into a bitter, meticulous curmudgeon. He notices a fearless cat near his garage. He works in a steel company and is forced by his manager to resign from his job. He cancels his utilities like gas and electricity and wants to commit himself to joining his diseased wife. Otto is about to hang himself and is stopped by the arrival of new neighbors, Mrs. Marisol, a pregnant lady, and her husband, Mr. Tommy. They were troubled to park their car back up on the trailer. Otto helps him out of irritation as they have already done enough. He gets introduced to their kids, Abby and Luna. Marisol offers the dish she made and puts an effort into getting to know him. After tasting it, he tries to hang himself, but the noose slips loose from the ceiling. Otto visits Sonia's grave and remembers their earlier times. He was turned down for the army as a young man because of his hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and then he met Sonia on a train when he followed her to hand over the book she dropped. She gave him a 1964 silver quarter during the ticket checking and he has kept it ever since. Again, he finds the cat on his veranda. Marisol and Tommy knock on his door again and ask for a ladder. She also offers him some cookies to taste. Otto finds the same cat under his car and moves it out of the garage. Even though he harbors resentment towards Anita's husband and Otto's friend Ruben, a stroke survivor who is being non-responsive, Otto assists Anita with her radiators. Otto continues his second suicide attempt in his garage while reflecting on his and Sonia's courtship. For God's sake, Tommy breaks his leg after using Otto's ladder as a sign of saving Otto's life. Marisol asks Otto for help taking her to the hospital after Tommy's ambulance. Otto drags Marisol and the kids to the hospital. Against Marisol's will, he beats up a clown for stealing his quarter during a magic trick in the hospital. Marisol finds the stray cat in its dying condition. Jimmy saves and decides to provide shelter and take care of it. Otto's memories reflect his graduation day from engineering school and he proposes to Sonia. He tries another suicide attempt while he stands on a railway platform. But instead, he saves an old man who unexpectedly fell over the rails. At the last second, he allows himself to be dragged to safety by a stranger. Otto grudgingly accepts the stray cat that Jimmy saved from the streets after discovering he is allergic to it. He then takes the cat to Sonia's grave and spends some time there. The cat occupies Sonia's space in the bed. The child recognizes Otto as his former teacher's spouse and relates how Sonia helped him as a transgender student when Otto confronts Malcolm, a teenager for distributing unwelcome advertising circulars. Marisol's inability to drive irritates Otto, who teaches her with complete patience. They go to Sonia's favorite bakery, where Otto recovers that Anita and Sonia used to be closest friends but that he and Ruben fell out over minor issues like their allegiances to various automakers which led to Ruben's coup in which he took over Otto's position as the chair of the neighborhood association. While Marisol and Tommy go out for the evening, Otto watches Abby and Luna. He also makes friends with Malcolm and fixes his bicycle. Following the virality of the footage of the altercation at railway station, social media journalist Shari Kenzie meets Otto to interview him. But he avoids the journalist. Otto couldn't accept Sonia's passing and lashed out at Marisol and a representation of Dai and Medica, a real estate firm trying to take over the neighborhood. Out of despair, he closes the door and stops speaking to Marisol, who is deeply worried about him. He gets ready to shoot himself in the head while recalling the Niagara Falls bus disaster that resulted in Sonia losing her unborn child and becoming paralyzed. When Otto gets up to kill himself, 
ऑफ मालकम बैंग्स ऑन द डोर आफ्टर बींग एस्क टू लीव बाय हिज फादर ओटो अग्रीज टू लेट मालकम स्टे फॉर द नाइट ओटो डिस्कवर्स दैट डाई एंड मेरिका आर वर्किंग टूगेदर विद रूबन एंड अनिथास ए स्ट्रेंज सन टू बाय देयर हाउस एंड प्लेस रूबन इन द नर्सिंग केयर बाय यूजिंग अनिथास खोवर्ड पार्किसन डायग्नोसिस ही गोज टू मैरिसोल्स हाउस एंड एस्क फॉर अ मोबाइल टू मेक अ कॉल मैरिसोल हु इज स्टिल एंग्री विथ हिम बिहेव रूडली एंड एस्क वाई he behaved in such a way he finally explains sonia's still birth and disability he also admits to trying to kill himself with sonia his dissatisfaction with the dai and merica housing complexes accessibility and how he was outstared as association chair following a contentious argument with the corporation led to this he then vows to fight them and asks marisol for assistance the neighborhood comes together to stop dai and merica workers from taking ruben when they arrive with kensi disclosing their unauthorized access to anita and otto's medical information otto passes out and names marisol his next of kin before being brought to the hospital After learning that his heart is too big she finds it amusing goes into labor and gives birth to Marco Otto gives Malcolm his car gives Marisol and Tommy the crib he created for Sonia when she was expecting and gets closer to his neighbors 3 years later Tommy sees the Otto hasn't cleared his walkway he and Marisol discovers Otto passed away from the heart failure and that he left Marisol a letter describing his house savings new truck and cat and asking her to take care all of those the neighbors assemble to commemorate Otto following his request for burial